Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nona from TheAlignLover.com. In today's video, I'll be discussing the body type of Taylor Lachey, at least my opinion of her body type, her hair, and her essence. You'll see a bit more of essence being discussed on my channel. I think it's super important. I think Taylor is an amazing example of really bridging body type and essence together to make very iconic and unique images so stay tuned for that and if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel and like this video so that i can continue to grow before we get into the outfits let's just talk about taylor's physicality or her silhouette so taylor is five foot six inches tall moderately tall and she has a rather long narrow frame with a sharp angularity very long narrow limbs um, and there's a sharpness if you trace out the different shapes in her frame. You'll see triangles and rectangles, more of these narrow angular shapes as opposed to very broad, sweeping, wide, blunt shapes. You'll also see, especially recently, that she is quite fleshy. She has a good amount of curvature, especially up top. So with that strong vertical, that prominent flesh, and that sharp angularity, I think she really aligns with the soft dramatic Kivi body type. Let's take a closer look at her face. So her face aligns with the soft dramatic idea as well. She has those beautiful, exotic, large, upturned almond eyes, the very angular bone structure with the super high cheekbones, the narrow shapely nose, the almost diamond face shape that really brings out all of that sharp curvature, super aligned with a soft dramatic ID. But taking a step back, you can see she has this kind of doe-like quality to her eyes. And especially with certain hairstyles, her features take up a good amount of space on her face, meaning that her facial features aren't too centered inwards on her face they're quite spread out expansive and that makes her face look a little bit more compact and youthful so this kind of face or at least when she frames it this way really aligns with the gamine essence and when i talk about essence i'm talking about mcjimsy or kitchener style essences that are separate from kibby body types or kibby body id so these are two different systems in the essence system gamin is referred to as playfully young kind of boyish exuberantly boyish it's spunky it's not delicate it's not dainty and i'll go into the distinguish the distinguishing characteristics between ingenue, which is playfully, innocently girly, and gamin, which is playfully young in future slides. But I just want to say I see a lot of gamin essence in her. So going off of that thought, hair cell plays such a huge role, especially if you have two strong kinds of IDs or personas. Framing your face in certain ways can really strengthen the presence of one over the other. So here with her iconic French bob, this is probably what you think of when you think of Taylor Lachey. You see that she has these wispy soft layers and the curvature of her bob ends are really framing her face. And it's just setting the stage for her eyes, her dainty nose and her very shapely cute lips it's really creating this almost cartoonish gamine kind of look compared to when she wears a different hairstyle her hair is swept away from her face so the proportions are different her eyes don't look as large you can really see the prominence of her beautiful cheekbones you see more of that um, contour especially in her lower face it looks more mature more womanly more adults because 
it plays with a different proportion and frame and perspective. Of course, wardrobing and makeup also play a role, but I think hair just plays such a huge role. So if you want to play with this kind of hairstyle, make sure that you're playing around with your own hair texture as well, making sure that your hair texture can support this kind of shaping, this amount of uh, tousling, the kind of lightweight nature of her bangs so that it isn't too heavy. And then see if you can make your makeup, at least your eye makeup, create a more round doe eye look instead of such a pulled fox eye look because you can do both on the same set of eyes. All right, so here I want to talk about the difference between gamine and ingenue. So gamine, Taylor, has a dramatically playful, boyish, mischievous essence. And ingenue, on the other hand, is more delicate and innocent and frilly, pastel, girly, lots of translucent materials. Um, I like to make the analogy that gamine is more like a pixie spitfire, spunky, and the ingenue is more like a princess fairy or fairy princess, like a very dainty little elf. So here um, are some interesting pictures of her hair before she kind of blew up on Instagram. I think she tried to grow her following on MySpace, on Tumblr. She's been really going at it, so she wasn't an overnight success. And here on this top picture, she really reminds me of Shannon Sossaman, especially with this makeup and this very messy kind of a longer shaggy hairstyle and the um the sweater that's just going over her her knuckles like the very cozy eccentric kind of vibe that shannon has super evident here and then here is um a haircut with really heavy bangs um just a lot of heaviness up top and you'll see it just doesn't frame her face like her current French bob does. So that does not look as iconic on her. And here is a kind of artsy photo with her a longer hairstyle. And obviously she's still a beautiful person, but it just doesn't hit that balance between gamine and soft dramatic that I'll show you in the following slides. So Taylor Lachey looks the most iconic or has created her iconic image by fusing gamine and diva chic elements. So outfits that honor that diva chic larger than life kind of persona by using oversized detail, narrow angular dramatic cuts, supported shoulders, bold waist emphasis, and gamine details like petite little details broken lines unexpected touches very playful um i would say eccentric touches or things that don't seem like they should go together but do when she fuses that kb based diva chic kind of frame with some kitchener mcjimsey mean details it's just super special on her she just looks like kind of out of this world and that is why knowing yourself knowing your essence and your body type is super important especially if you want to work in you know the public sector if you really want to create a strong personal brand or image because once you get that super impactful now here are some other looks obviously she's still beautiful and there's nothing really wrong about these outfits but they're just not her they're not tailored they're modeling photos of her making other outfits look good or interesting but these are not informing the eye to really um become kind of 
uh, entranced with her or with her image. So here is the kind of classic meets natural outfit, the long hair. I don't really recognize her here. Um, just a little too baggy and high contrast and not fitted, sculptural, and sensuous enough. And here, that kind of um, mid-2000s boho era, I am expecting this cup that she's holding to be like a mason jar. So there's nothing wrong with these outfits, and she looks great, but they're not striking her special vibes or personas. So because she has that gamine essence, she can really lean into it, especially when she is like super slim because that aligns more with the kind of boyish image when you're super slim because um, boys are slim. And um, I just want to make that distinction because I'm not saying that womanly figures can't have the gamine essence but i'm saying that it's easier for them to pull off full body gamine looks because that kind of body type does align with the gamine essence anyways here are some photos of her in super gamine heavy outfits spunky boyish playfully young a little bit angular verticals squares a little bit of oversizedness unisex or men's inspired pieces but short compact trim and small and she looks super amazing in it i still recognize her especially because of her hair and her makeup and this style looks like it really suits her natural posing her expressions none of it looks forced and oppositely she can go completely into the sophisticated, elegant, more sexy, diva chic body type or kibbe ID and she'll look amazing with the voluptuous, curve enhancing looks, the plunging narrow necklines, the sharp shoulders, the bold sculptural shapes, the oversized details, the strong vertical, the glitter, the leopard print, the shimmers, the big bold jewelry, um, all of that still looks amazing on, on her because she has both the um, soft dramatic and the gamine. So when you have both, you can just lean into one over the other, play around with them, fuse them in different proportions and in different ways. So that concludes my little dive into Taylor Lachey's body type and her style and her very important hair. I absolutely love her hair and um, it just looks so high definition on her. Like when you see images of her with this French bob and that strong but clean eye makeup and that slightly blotted lip color, it just kind of creates this impression because it's so clear it's almost like looking at an archetype being manifested it's just that level of resonance and alignment and uh, specificity it just reflects so much i guess self-reflection and trial and error and experimentation so I want to leave this video saying that it's a journey, it's going to take a while for you to develop your personal style, especially if you want to make a very iconic personal style. So give yourself time, it's going to take a lot of reflection, but once you hit it, it's going to be special. So I'll see you in the next video, bye!